A few years ago, I had a chance to drive what is now, I'd say, one of my favorite vehicles, and that's the Cadillac CTS-V. That thing was a monster. Have a look at it here at Road America when we tested it. And up the straightaway. on the brakes. Wow, these brakes are amazing. Not only was it super capable on the track, but on the road, it had great, great road manners. And you know what, that's what makes it the perfect car for me. It had a bit of everything. For 2020, gone is a CTS and in comes the CT5. This happens to be the V with the badge on it. However, this CT5 V isn't quite the same as that CTS V that we tested a few years ago. First thing you realize, this CT5 is all new, even though it's replacing the CTS, it does not look anything like the CTS, especially the CTS V. Starting from the hood, well, that V had that big, huge kind of hood scoop on the front. This one does not have that because it's not supercharged like that CTS V was. But I do really, really like the front end, especially of this CT5. You get this gloss black grill with the large Cadillac emblem in the center. Off to the side, you do have a couple of uh, vents that mimic the grill. However, they do not flow through. Then you get the Cadillac lights. I am a big fan. You get those vertical lights synonymous with Cadillac, plus you have LEDs uh, beside that. And at nighttime though, this does come with a lighting package. You have puddle lights that come onto the side and in the rear, underneath the trunk, the emblem actually lights up as well. And that is a very nice touch. Off to the side, you have 19 inch wheels. They are a gray satin finish. And this is equipped with Pilot Sport 4S tires. So nice sticky rubber, good performance rubber on there. And there's tasteful black trim to complement this gray uh, around the doors, on the mirror and on the bottom rocker panel as well. And you can see the rear tapers down like an actual Cooper hatch, kind of, kind of like an Audi A7-ish, uh, but it's not a hatch, by the way. We'll get to the trunk in a second. In the rear, you have a built-in spoiler, not as big as the one on that CTS V, but a spoiler nonetheless. You have quad exhaust finishers, and once again, that signature vertical Cadillac lighting. So let's take a look in the trunk. Even though the CT5 is in the compact luxury sedan category, I can't believe how big compact cars really have gotten these days, but um, it does have a longer wheelbase than a lot of its competitors. And let's take, for example, the BMW M340. This vehicle is four inches longer than that one, and that really benefits in the interior and the cargo space. So this does have a kick feature, a slight kick there, up it comes. I mentioned at nighttime, you get the Cadillac emblem that comes underneath, and I have just a bunch of camera stuff in here right now but I did do a Costco run, so it does pass the Costco challenge, which is a whole thing of toilet paper and a big box. The trunk is ample size, and what I do like are the, the trunk struts actually travel within the trunk, so there's nothing exposed there, so you can put anything underneath them, and it's not going to be obstructed when you close the trunk. The inside of the CT5V, I would say, is sporty and simple. Starting from the seats, uh, these are quite supportive. They have some good side bolstering on them. They are very stylish. They have some accent stitching on them. These are heated and ventilated, by the way. Then you have the Sport. You have the very sporty suede steering wheel. Now, this CT5 will be available with the Cadillac Super Cruise system. And I'm pretty sure if you go with that Super Cruise system, you won't be able to get this sport steering wheel because that system has lights integrated into the top of the steering wheel. And that's how it was when we tested it uh, about a year ago. So you have two analog gauges flanked by an eight inch display in the center. 
simple and easy to read. One different thing about the steering wheel, it has a red V button. So very similar to what you'd find, let's say in uh, BMW's M, you have the M button, or this is the V button. And for victory, so you hit that, and you can go in into an individual setting, however you want it. Let's say you're driving around, just regular driving, and you want a some really quick performance, just hit that V, it's gonna put everything to how you have it programmed. In the center, a large Cadillac Q system. I really, really like the latest Cadillacs, how they've gone away from all those fancy sliders and haptic uh, feedback things that they had on the screens. Now, this is just a real basic screen. You have a volume button and you have a selector knob and a home button in the center, that's it. You have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay coming standard. Plus you have a rear camera as well as a 360 camera. Here's something really interesting. It actually has a video recorder. So you can hit that and you can record what's going on. So no more need for a dash cam. Speaking of cameras, a lot of you are familiar with Cadillac's uh, rear view camera system. This one is equipped with that. So you have a regular mirror, a uh, little switch, there and it turns into a digital camera and that camera is mounted up top in the back. So unobstructed view, nice wide view there. All the climate controls, straightforward. I do prefer dials for my climate, uh, for my temperature settings. These are actual toggles up and down, but I do like how they're integrated. It just provides a really clean look. Below that you have wireless charging and you have your drive mode toggle there, your traction control, uh, your auto start stop. This has an electronic parking brake, so if you hit that auto hold, you can hold the vehicle at your stoplights. And in behind the selector, gear selector, you have another volume knob like that. So you have a redundant volume knob on the bottom and everything that you can do with the touch can be done with this small little controller right here. The fit and finish of this Cadillac is very well done. Nice materials. Once again, accent stitching on the dash. You have real carbon fiber trim, carbon fiber trim on the door. Uh, I really like the Bose speaker grills are integrated very nicely right into the door panel. It just, it's not like an afterthought. It's very, very well designed. And speaking of well designed, I'm not a fan of tablet style infotainment screens in the center. This does have one. However, they have done a fairly good job of integrating it into the dash. It doesn't just stick up. Let's take a look at the back. Surprising amount of headroom in the back here, considering this does have that slope going in the rear. Uh, yeah, lots of headroom here. Uh, very simple. You, there are no heating controls in the back, but you do have a 12 volt outlet and a USB-C, a single USB-C. And, um, Leg room is decent. There is a large hump in the middle. Be aware of that. This is an all wheel drive version. So you have a lot of mechanicals under there. Your drink holder, comfortable for four people for sure. This car, five, a tight fit for sure. I've been trying to drive this CT5 V as much as I could this week. Unfortunately, it's not as much as I'd like to because this is the last week of summer break. So we've been doing a lot of biking activities, camping, boating, and those all require a bigger vehicle. Uh, so we couldn't fit things in the back here. But as you can see, uh, I have the rear seats folded down, made another large Costco uh, pickup today. So there's a big, huge, large, heavy box back there. So if you hear the little swishing around, it's because of that. So yeah, I'm just trying to, to get as much seat time as I can in this CT5V. And I got to tell you, the more time that I sit in this seat and not even just drive it, just looking at this, the, the whole concept of this vehicle, I like it. We talked about the outside and it's really growing on me, this styling. If you compare it to some of its, the main competitors, let's say the BMW M340 or the Mercedes AMG C43, I think this edges both of them out in styling. Uh, I love the front end. Back end, it's, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to get used to it. It's kind of a little bit, uh, it's very different, but it's a little bit different, but I think in a good way. So under the hood of this CT5V is a three liter twin turbo and it puts out 360 horsepower and 
405 pound-feet of torque. It is down around 20 horsepower compared to some of his German competitors, but it's still no slouch. Now that power is put to the ground through a 10-speed automatic transmission and this is equipped with an all-wheel drive system. Sorry for the thing sloshing back there. So we are in regular mode now. If we go into our selector, we have touring mode, we have sport mode now, we have track mode, and we have snow and ice. However, on the steering wheel, what's different is there is a V button. So when we press that V button, It comes up on the screen that we have, we're in V mode. So that is essentially a customized mode. You can program um, your steering, your transmission, your engine mapping, uh, however you want it. So at the touch of a button, you're there. What I like though is the exhaust sound that this makes when you're in V mode. So let's put it into manual mode so we can control the transmission through the paddle shifters here. Okay, so we are in fourth gear right now. Let's just gear down. Now this is not a dual clutch transmission, but. Oh, you hear that, that pop, the little burble there? All right, so let's go around this corner here. Hopefully we have a little bit of a, an opening or we can open her up a little bit more. I'm not gonna do any crazy hard launches. We have a lot of cargo back there, but let's just see in V mode. Not too bad, zero to 60 is in around 4.7, 4.8 seconds. You heard on the very first part there, I did hit the limiter. Now the suspension though is one of my favorite things in this Cadillac because this is equipped with their magnetic ride control and it's magical, seriously. When you have it in any mode, it just switches so quick. But but even in touring mode, it adapts very, very well to whatever the road conditions are. And it just really gives you a lot of confidence when you're driving this vehicle. I kind of wish that they could bump up the power just a little bit, you know, either be equal to some of its competitors or even a little bit more. Why not make it just that nice 400 horsepower mark? That would be absolutely perfect. Uh, but anyways, what they've done with this CT5V is they've created almost like the, the everyday V. The previous version that we tested, which I mentioned I absolutely am so enamored with, uh, it, it had 650 horsepower and that great V8. Well, don't worry. If that is what you're looking for, you want that real brute force, it will be available in an upcoming CT5V black wing series so that will have that 6.2 liter supercharged v8 with 650 horsepower and the best thing about it that will be available with a manual transmission check that out that will be just insane to drive i hope to get a chance to drive that seriously that may be my favorite vehicle uh, of all time uh, if i do get to drive that brake wise we have brembo brakes in the front very adequate for this size vehicle and the type of driving that we're doing, that's for sure. Uh, I'm sure when you get into that Blackwing Edition, you're gonna get upgraded brakes for front and back, but uh, for this V, no issues whatsoever. Overall, I'm very impressed with this CT5V. I had no expectations coming into it, and as a former 3 Series owner from BMW, uh, I would have to say that uh, in styling wise, interior, technology, everything, I would probably take this over uh, a BMW M340. I really like the size of this vehicle. They did a great job on the fit and finish all around. It drives very, very precisely. And yeah, I gotta say, good job Cadillac.
Once again, I apologize for, there's a lot of rustling around. We got cargo in the back. Uh, <laughs> we've got all sorts of things flying around here. Uh, but I just haven't had a lot of chance to come out and even do any filming. So this is the only chance I can do. I got to work in some errands and some filming all at the same time. So thanks for being patient. So do I think the CT5V has the chops to compete with some of the vehicles like from Mercedes, Audi and BMW? Absolutely. If you're in the market for a sports sedan out of any of those manufacturers, you should really put this one on your list because it really is a worthy competitor. Whoa, don't go anywhere yet. If you like this or any of the hundreds of videos on this channel, make sure, just give it a thumbs up at least. Why? Because first of all, you liked it. And second, because it's free. It doesn't cost you a single cent. And what in life is still free? This is one of them. Also, subscriptions are free too. Hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified whenever I put out a new video. And without your support, I can't keep on making new videos and we all like new things. Aren't we all sick of reruns on TV now? Anyways, now you can click the next video, hit that trackpad or on your phone, Get on to the next Everyday Review. Cheers.